What's going on everybody? Genius Aviation back here with another surprise video. I was not planning for this, uh, but I'm just building my airport and I decided that'd be a big brain idea to do so. So I'd like to share with you all my wonderful trick for the 1 to 400 scale model airport. I I'm sure you can kind of see where this is going. You're gonna need a 1 to 400 scale Gemini Jets, Jetbridge, as this only works with that. And you're gonna need an E-Jets uh, 170 and bigger series aircraft. Um, now I know that a big issue that's happened with model airplane collectors, especially model airport designers and model airport creators, especially a lot of people on YouTube, have taken off the wheels from this jet bridge and put them like this and then aligned the jet bridge like here, which in my opinion, no offense to everybody that does that, it seems kind of horrible and foolish. And I thought that too, for my own airports even, until I figured this out. So I'm just gonna put this back to a completely normal, brand new, perfect jetway. So the jetway, what I mean by perfect jetway is that it's gonna have wheel, uh, stair, and everything functioning just fine. Um, so let's, uh, let's disassemble these uh, wheels here. So first we need to take these wheels off. By the way, I did not describe yet what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting the height of the jet bridge to perfectly fit the American Eagle aircraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking off these wheels. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. Uh, we're going to be taking off this spinning capsule down here that has both of the tires on them. Just uh, disattach them or detach them from the main spar bar right there. Uh, hold on to the center uh, gray console right here that uh, is the pilot of the spinning and pull. Uh, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder to detach. Now on this, um, on these tires, there's going to be a wide hole and a, and a thin hole. The um, the thin hole is what was current is what was previously uh, attaching the wheels to this spoke right here. But what we're going to want is this large hole. The reason that we're using the large hole is because that allows the wheels to go further up this chassis to lower down the height of the jet bridge overall. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take that large hole and put it right back on the end of this jetway, making the wheels a lot shorter. Reattach it into the jet bridge, just like so. Push it all the way up, squeeze the wheels really tight, uh, just like that. And then sometimes it'll be harder, sometimes it'll be easier to do so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our aircraft right here and uh, burn down the jet bridge and at fits perfectly. Let me see if I can bring you down a little bit more. Um, yeah, so. There she is. With the wheels, no deassembling, very easy. And then you can keep these jet bridges separate from the normal ones. Uh, so yeah, everybody, uh, thank you very, 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 very much for watching this unexpected video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope this is a very helpful trick for you. Please comment down below what you thought of uh, my trick. Feel free to give me any feedback or any requests, as I will probably figure them out. I'm working on a regional jet uh, with that. I'm working on a regional jet staircase right now, uh, like the little RJs. So I'll show you how that works um, next video. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.